Good evening, everybody. Flack is back. Welcome back to episode 5 of the Mr. Flack podcast. Today, we're doing Spoon Kid. Now, you guys know episode 1, we did Blueprint. Episode 2, we did Mimeo. Episode 3, I kind of stepped it up. I did a William face reveal, and then I did a Sir Winter face reveal for episode 4. Most people are naturally assuming that I'm going to be doing a Spoon Kid face reveal on episode 5. However, I'm not. Myth busted. Spoon Kid wasn't ready to show his face yet, he's not 100% comfortable yet, I wanted him as a guest, we kind of negotiated a little bit, and we both decided voice only would be the best way to go ahead with doing this. So this is going to be the first ever voice only podcast on the Mr. Black Show, episode 5 starring Spoon Kid. Let's go! Oh and if you guys haven't subscribed to the Mr. Flack podcast, please be sure to subscribe, and um, at the end of the video, only at the end, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, thumbs up would be great. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. You know, type a comment, give some suggestion. Participate. Fuck. You can't hear me. I can hear you. Oh, you can? Yep. Sick, sick, sick. Holy shit, dude. This has been a fucking nightmare, bro. Oh, yeah? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, have you have you ever heard of something called load shedding? No. It's like rolling blackouts. And uh, 30 minutes before I'm supposed to phone you, the electricity in my city goes off. Oh no, dude. Yeah, bro, I'm on a fucking laptop with like, on, on battery backup and had to change mics and headphones and... Uh, oh my god, that's but, brutal, dude. Yeah, fuck. And I was look, I was, I was like prepping the whole day for this shit and then just like an unannounced fucking load shed, all the electricity off. But luckily I've got a back, like a... A battery backup system i got a laptop so uh -huh. i mean i'm sitting in darkness in my fucking living room <laughs> dude, <laughs> no it's cool it's brutal. if you if you need to delay i understand if you think we can make it work no bro we can make it work i've got let's have a look here quickly how much battery life do i have left i've got three hours and seven minutes of battery life we should sure. be we should, be, should good. be enough yeah yeah i mean it's nice and dark in here we've got the lovely spoon kid voice the brinda of the rust do world. those usually get uh settled like does the power stay off for a while in uh, general yeah yeah it's like two hours every day forever oh my god <laughs> yeah it's, <laughs> it's, just it's difficult it's, it's it's quite bad like in africa we we don't have electricity and food and like drinking water but we've got like dank internet <laughs> And we've, right. and we've got like 12 Lamborghini dealerships in our city, but we don't have food. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, dude. Oh, it's pretty fucked. But it's cool, though. You know, we, we work around it. We live. Right. Um, do uh, you mind also making a recording of your voice? Yeah, I will do. In fact, uh, I'm going to turn off my AC real quick. I have a really loud AC that interferes, so I'm going to be right back. Okay, if you if you want to, if you want to bear the heat. I will bear the heat for this. Mm. It's about to get hot and spicy in here. God, this is so exciting. It's fucking Spoon Kid. Okay, stop fanboying. Keep your shit together. Sip of Red Bull. Okay. Mm. Are you sure you want to turn your AC off, dude? I don't want to, like, inconvenience you. Oh, I actually do it for every stream, so I'm used to it. Oh, okay. Okay, sick, sick. Spoon Kid, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so incredibly excited to have you on the show. You hey, were, thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you were like one of the first people to reach out to me to say like you want to be on the podcast, and like I, I was just genuinely like blown away because I'm like an absolute Spoon Kid fanboy, and having you reach oh, out to me and going I want to be on the show because you saw the Blueprint one, that was like oh my god, dude, like starstruck and shit like that. Yeah, I mean, I saw it and I was like, you know, it seems like you really put a lot of work in. It, I enjoyed it. I watched the whole episode and I just wanted to be like, you know, it's if you if you're interested, then feel free to ask. Bro, I fucking love it. Um, I, I'm the reason why I'm doing this whole podcast series is I feel like a lot of people are invested in their favorite YouTubers. I know you you've got an absolutely massive audience, and they know very little about you. Other than, you know, right. maybe like Brenda and, you know, Mr. Horse and Pie Town and like they don't know the real Spoon Kid, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, so the definitely. point of the podcast is it's obviously called Behind, um, you know, Behind Blueprints, Behind Spoon Kid. You are going to be like episode five, I think. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm genuinely like not even joking, so excited because like I've been following your career for like jesus like five years now i'm talking the reddit days when spoon kid did like i think oh, it was the, yeah. the two minutes or the three minute wipes you used to do the two minute wipe day oh yeah. my god do you still have those videos yeah they're all up on my original channel no ways oh you know what i i, I looked at spoon kid 2 
because uh, I consider Spoon right. Kids 2 to be <laughs> your main. the new main channel. Yeah, so the, the yeah. new main channel. So actually, that, that's actually a great point to start. If you don't mind, I'm just going to hop straight in, bro. Uh, you've got six channels. Yep. Four of those six are over 100,000 subscribers. Uh, right. That's fucked, bro. That, like, what? I... I don't even understand because what I want, what I did is I logged on earlier today. I didn't want to do too much like spoon kid research because, mm. you know, if you tell me anything, I want to be surprised. I want to like be pumped and shit like that. But I saw fucking Jesus. How much was it? Six channels. Four was I, I, I couldn't make out what was going on with the spoon kid universe because right. like we just it's said it's a little complicated can you explain the situation because i know spoon kid was supposed to be the main but now it's basically the second and spoon kid 2 is now the main basically like right t tell me well, tell, what's uh, the goals there you know well it started off with just the main channel and mm -hmm. i was making uh yeah what is it five almost six years ago yeah. i was like just making short videos yeah um that went on for a couple of years and you know i got to around like eight thousand subs over maybe two three years and uh at that point was when i went to college and so i took like a year-long break mm -hmm. because you know i couldn't i was in a dorm it wasn't big enough for my computer or anything yeah i remember you so, like disappeared for a while after the, the two minute wipes you just like disappeared yeah yeah i just you know i took a, a, a break Mm. Well, at that point, it was like I wasn't, I was done because my thought when making the two minute videos was like, all right, by the time I have to go to college, I got to make enough money to not go to college. <laughs> and because uh, I didn't, I didn't want to go to college. So, yeah, but it didn't work. I was making like maybe 200 bucks a month off of it. So I was like, all right, I'm giving up. I'm going the traditional route. Blue and collar, then, baby. Um, yep. Uh, and then after one semester, I was like, all right, I'm getting back into it. I got to <laughs> make this shit. work somehow. <laughs> so, you know, I went back to the drawing board. Yeah. Um, uh, watched like thousands of hours of YouTube videos, uh, and just kind of tried to study how it works and formulate a plan. Yeah. And, uh, that's when I realized, like, I'd have to create a completely different type of content if I wanted to blow up. Uh, and, and, and you that's did. What, and I did. I completely <laughs> shifted from voiceless two-minute videos to my first video back was, like, a 30-minute narrated all throughout challenge video. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, looking back on it, like when I watch that video now, I can definitely see like how all of that was new to me. There were so many things now that I'd like know how to edit better, but yeah, yeah. I think you know the idea was there, and uh, uh, but yeah, essentially, you know. No, uh, I, I fully know. It's a, it's 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 nice to look back a couple of years, even if it's one or two years, and you can see the noticeable improvement. On your content right like i i went back about a year on spoon kid and even though you were wildly successful a year ago i could hear you know you had a weaker mic i think um, yeah i did you were you weren't as confident in your voice like i could hear the like the you you were you were attempting to narrate rather than just naturally narrate you are a lot more natural and sweet. yeah so so i can definitely see the improvement but the the level of success that you've achieved in such a short amount of time is just fucking mind-blowing dude like wow congratulations by the way thank you man yeah i mean it moved really really fast and i gotta say uh h june uh yeah the second video i put out when i came back he just put it on his end screen he didn't dm me he didn't say anything it was just like what? randomly i checked my analytics and you know at that time that first video back, I think, got maybe a thousand views in the first week. Uh, yeah. So not exactly uh, blowing up. Yeah. Sounds uh, like Mustache. And then, <laughs> 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 um, well, he, you know, he just—I don't know what his motivation was. I guess you know he he'd watched my videos for years no, and he, he, saw he I came liked back. It. He so liked it. Yeah. He uh, he put it on his end screen. I remember checking my analytics, and it was like Boom. randomly. I had like. <laughs> 500 spike. views an hour bro that's huge and back all then. these comments 
yeah i mean that was massive but what it did you know i I got from from that thing probably like a thousand subs maybe 5k views but a couple days later the it just went into the algorithm and then within a week was at 100k and just from there every upload got bigger and bigger and you know that's the nice thing about being in the youtube algorithms favor like once you're in there, you 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 Gucci, bro. You don't have to do much, and you just fucking pump. Yeah. Um, Seriously, yeah. I mean, but after that, it was kind of just pump stuff out. But I mean, that's not just a shout out. That is that is quality content mixed with a shout out and mixed with the algorithm that that created that that snowball. True, for sure, for sure. But just you know, it, I, it surprised me that it just you know he did that out of nowhere, and it, it did have like a, it was a major catalyst. Had some some uh, massive effects for my channel so that's you know that's really nice and like i said to h june and i say to william and everyone that the, the rust creators are like really nice and really like accommodating of one another if that makes sense like yeah th- i agree th- there's very little egos and like selfishness everyone just sort of shares the crowd like h june shouted you out for no reason and i mean he's a at, at a time he was like the, the best or the most known rust youtuber in the world Right. Um, just to shout you out like that that's that's incredible dude and of course obviously your channel's improved and you've branched out i i, I watched the pie town thing um <laughs> yeah I, I i don't know what i don't know i don't know bro i think i'm too old i'm like 35 so i like i don't understand things quite like you do your level of humor is just like i think it's missing me a bit but um it was right. definitely interesting it, it was it was definitely an interesting uh, thing. Well, thank you. Yeah, uh, I just I I'm I'm trying to understand, dude. Like it's it, it's so weird speaking to someone like you because I enjoy your content a lot. You're a very skilled Rust player. You're very entertaining. You're very humorous. You've got basic. You check every single box. Um, you don't often lose your mind with temp temper tantrums and like you 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 mostly cool. Like ninety nine percent of the time, you just like oh damn, lost my M two four nine. Oh well, let's go <laughs> grab a bow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. like I, I i don't understand how you are able to be that skilled mixed with that funny mixed with that persistence w- have you always been like this or was that something that you had, I mean, you had to work on i think it's like uh god jesus people probably don't realize that i've played this game for so many years yeah yeah and i've kind of done pretty much everything you know in terms of like getting loot or whatever so really like I'm not playing the game to play it. I'm just trying to make content. So I can see that. You know, my mindset is not uh, let me rage because I failed. It's like, all right, let me try to recover. Yeah. And make it entertaining, even though we just lost everything. Well, you, I mean, you lose everything; it's still content, right? Well, yeah. If you do, I guess if you do it the right way. I mean, obviously, it's still like if I'm like in a raid or something and I die, it's like. It, it sucks for the content, but I'm like, okay, let me see how I can bounce back yeah. and not be, instead of raging, let me just get right back out there. It's actually interesting because sometimes I like, I, I watch your videos on Spooky too religiously. That's like, like I've got a, a Rust creator for every like mood I'm in and you, mm. your Spooky 2 is my eat content. Like when I eat oh, food. Oh, that means a lot, dude. Oh, the eating it? content, that's oh, the it? highest honor. Oh shit! Okay, well you might you might eat guy, bro. Whenever there's a plate of food, I put on Spoon Kid Two and I click on something. Ninety nine percent of the time, I've watched it already, or, like seen it already, <laughs> like fuck it, whatever. It's it's worth it. And uh, that's awesome, man. Nice. That's a big honor. I, whatever I when I'm eating, I'm very selective about what video I watch. Oh, good, so good. Okay, no, yeah, means you, a lot. You, you might eat guy. So so I've noticed like you 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 would be raiding. You'd make like this this decent base. You'd have like. Well, not really that decent. You'd have a smallish base, yeah, but it's got like decent. 72 boxes filled of sulfur. And then the next episode starts, you're like, I was raided, guys. And then you just like pick <laughs> up a bow and you just carry on. And I'm like, I would be losing my fucking mind, dude. Like, but you just, yeah. you just carry. Like, I think the one time I saw you and you got like an M249 and you lost it. And then immediately you spawned back at base and you're like, Hey, Mr. Horse. And then you like threw him some pickles and you were just feeding your fucking horse. And I'm like, dude, right. get, get angry. Jesus, man. I do get a lot of comments like <laughs> it's annoying that he's not getting mad. And yeah. I mean, I definitely like not consciously, but probably play it down because I'm all of these videos I'm streaming. Yeah. And I don't know if when I think about it, I'm like, I'm not going to rage and 
you know, make my... Because whenever you watch another streamer and he gets, like, genuinely angry... Yeah, yeah. It kind of puts you in a bad mood, you know? It like, kind of does. I, I want to keep things light. I, actually, I appreciate that, though, because it's like... Like, for me, I'm a very bad PvPer, so obviously I don't make gameplay videos, but, like, I sometimes do try, and then I know that just acquiring a semi is a nightmare, and then traveling all the way to rig is a nightmare, but you just, like, you just punch through it like it's no problem for you. You just go across the map, go get a gun there, go to outpost, buy this, go to rig, get shot in the fucking face, and you're like, oh, well, let's go back. And at that stage, right. I, my, my PC is through the window. You know what I mean? I'm like beating my dogs and shit. Like, <laughs> I, oh, man, yeah. I, I just, I, it's so impressive to watch you, whether it's live or in Spoon Kid too. So, I, I, sorry, it probably sounds like I'm fanboying my tits off here. But um, oh, it's, it's just such it. an enjoyable experience knowing that, like, because, like, I mean, even Blue, I love Blue, but Blue also rages his ass off. He loses his fucking mind. You know what I mean? Mm. And um, for you to just, like, not lose your mind, it's just, that's a different kind of fucking zen. Um, which actually brings me to my next question. The, the spoon kit that you are in your videos, it was the same spoon kit that you were in the Python video. I'm assuming what you are on your streams and on your videos is the real spoon kit in real life? Like, you don't put on a persona or anything. This is just how you are uh yeah i mean i don't do any like conscious acting or anything i might probably act a little more like uh thoughtful on my streams because i'm aware that a lot of people are watching but yeah, yeah. like yeah i mean i'm not like uh let me get into spoon kid mode okay so so it's naturally naturally just you yeah like the same sense of humor same you know that that's that's interesting no that's actually good because you know the the creators that have to put on a persona when they're streaming or when they're creating it must get quite tiring, and I think that's probably a large reason on why yeah, you're so successful. I can't successful. even imagine. Yeah, you just—I mean, I don't know anybody who does. Is that like? I I, I actually feel like that would do, get exhausting. but I don't want to like call them out. But I, I do know of people that physically have to switch themselves on to make content. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that'll be fucked. Okay. Well, I mean, there's definitely like I definitely have to switch myself on and be a bit more lively. Like I'm a lot more introverted in person. Oh really? Uh, definitely not like used to talking all the time like i have to on stream okay, okay but i don't have to really change as much as i have to be like you know get into that headspace where i'm is non-stop it, talking yeah is that the reason that, like you're more introverted is that the reason why you haven't done a face reveal yet uh it's more like a a privacy thing like i see i don't know i just i, I remember like and i don't think the youtube landscape is the same now but I've seen so many situations that I just did not want to have to deal with. Like, I used to watch Ice Poseidon. I don't know if you know who that is. Uh, but he's like an un- IRL streamer. Unfortunately, I know him, yeah. He's uh, <laughs> recently come into some hot water. Maybe not <laughs> the best uh, yeah. the best dude. But I, I used to watch his streams like years ago. Okay. And he would just like be getting swatted, be getting all this shit, people calling his family, and it's like, yeah. I don't know, it was just kind of ingrained for me that I shouldn't be, you know, not necessarily that I have to be anonymous forever, but I should not uh, rush to make that decision mm. if I don't have to. Okay, no, that's that's true though, because like, I obviously started showing my face a couple of years ago, and like, I had a dude that showed up at my home, like, he just arrived at my house oh, and he's like geez. and you got kids too right yeah i got two, I, t- like, I got two kids so it was like very uncomfortable you don't want some and, guy there. and the dude like arrived with fortunately decent intentions but like he couldn't see that it was not appropriate to track my fucking house on google earth and come walk up to me right. while i'm doing gardening i'm like dude that's not okay like i said he wasn't he was a nice guy so just explain to him dude it's not okay you know can you Go away, please. I didn't say that. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. I didn't say that. I was like, okay, cool. I'll see you next time. Bye. And then I installed gigantic fucking metal gates. um, (laughs) Just to prevent that shit. But it's kind of scary because obviously you see yourself as just Spoon Kid or whatever your real name is. And... And that's it. But then you are actually adored by quite literally hundreds of thousands of people. You're literally a celebrity to them. But, you know, it's kind of fucking scary. Yeah, that... That kind of is another reason why I like to keep things separate because yeah. I don't really like that aspect of things. Yeah, like, I mean, it, it, I, you know, I don't want to be spoon kid outside of when I'm <clears throat> when I'm making videos. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you actually you, you're on the right path, dude. Like that that's the best way to do it. Keeping spoon kid separate from IRL spoon kid. You know, just living your life separately so that if you want to just like 
you know, blend into the crowd. You just have to not go live that day and just exist. Exactly. Yeah, I want to blend into the crowd. Now, tell me, Spoon Kid, um, how old are you, by the way? Uh, I'm 20. You're 20, and you've already went to college, and you've been creating. For t- what age did you start playing Rustic, bro? Uh, Good well, God. for college, I only went for one year, but oh yeah, so uh, and uh, like 14, I think. Oh wow, same as Blue. You basically you're basically on the same path as Blueprint right now, with the age of starting and like just generally in life. Yeah, pretty much. We pretty much were in the same era, I think. Sick. Uh, and what were you studying? In, what were you attempting to study in college? I was attempting to study <laughs> finance. Uh, oh God, Jesus Christ! Yeah, not the most uh, passionate about that. Yeah, fuck. Um, you know, you wanted to go study finance, and now you're fucking drowning in the finance. You know what I'm saying? Eh? Uh, that's pretty sick. So th- that's actually quite cool. So you obviously don't need to c- complete a degree. Your earnings are pretty much like sorted for life. Um, well, I don't know about for life, but for now. Well, I mean, you don't you don't come across as a very like materialistic type of person i can't imagine the real spoon kid is like you know renting out an expensive not mansion and driving a lamborghini you probably just chill and I eat do McDonald's. Not buy anything <laughs> exactly yeah. that, that, that's exactly the persona you give off just this chilled lovable community dude that like just has fun and i and i adore that like i saw that in your pie town video you could have like rented something like extra extravagant but you just sort of like rented some random airbnb you just drove in a random ass car and you like you had fun you know like it, it, right. It just yeah. not well, thank and you. Shit. I mean, I I definitely like uh, have a lot of like I stress about money a lot. So because you know, obviously, YouTube isn't the most uh, stable, yeah. reliable, stable. Mm. I mean, obviously, now it's going great, but you know, yeah, before. it's not guaranteed. No, it's not. So it's not. Um, yeah, I pretty much save like ninety six percent of my earnings. And just oh, invest. Jesus Christ. I've seen your numbers, so bro. Really you, you, you can retire at like fucking 22. I've seen your numbers. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. That's sick, dude. I, I'm, I'm, again, just so impressed with you. Do you stay alone at the moment? Uh, I live with family? my girlfriend. Oh, is that Forkel? Yep. Okay, so Forkel's the actual girlfriend and you stay with her. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we live together in a, a small apartment. Uh, which nice. is also where I stream. Are you able to say and what state you live in? Yeah, I live in Arizona. Okay, I don't know. Any, I don't even know why I fucking asked you like that, dude. Uh, I'm from Africa. Like, it's America. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Right? <laughs> it's like a desert. Uh, Wait, that's it's got the, like a big city. That's near Python, isn't it? That's like, that's New Mexico. Right, well, yeah, I'm one state away. It, so Arizona is in between California and New Mexico. Okay. Okay, yeah, because, uh, like, America's fucking huge, bro. It's, like, really big. It is. Each state is basically a country. That's nuts. Okay, so when did you, when did you like, move away from family and, like, start your adult life? Was that, like, a recent shift? Uh, well, I mean, I went to college. Mm-hmm. I was 17, so that's, I moved into a dorm. Okay. And then, um, and then, you know, I only was there for a year. And then by the end of the, the, uh, you know, school year, I was making enough money to, off of YouTube, because mm. it, you know, it, it went pretty quick. I was making enough to, basically, be like, self-sufficient. I want to go back. Yeah. I can be self-sufficient, yeah. and they were cool with that. So yeah. Yeah, that's sick. And and tell me, um, Forkel, um Oh, by the way, Forkel, I know you're listening to this when you when you watch this, and I know you unfollowed <laughs> me on Twitter. I no saw, I, way, She unfollowed dude. me, bro. She fucking unfollowed me. I, oh, my God. I was mortified, dude. Like, <laughs> when somebody unfollows me, I, f- I feel self-conscious, and I, like, go back through my tweets, and I'm like, what fucking triggered this person? But, uh, oh, man. I gotta, I gotta have a talk with her, Yeah, man. bro. I, I don't know. It, uh, I, th- I think that ship sailed, bro. I think I'm gonna have to unfollow there. That's... That's brutal. Bro, I am so sorry, Is it because I'm from Africa, Forkel? Is it because I'm from Africa? Dude, come on. <laughs> 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 oh my god that's cool so in the relationship i gotta ask you this dude like i i thought of this like this morning and i was like giggling to myself who's the little spoon uh all right dude <laughs> <laughs> okay so tell me uh spoon kid Forkel, is that is that is that the uh, long haul bro is that husband and wife shit are you guys gonna have little spoons like is is she the one are we gonna cut this Damn, part of the dude. interview <laughs> <laughs> What kind of interview is this, Bro, man? I, I, the people want to know about their master. Dude. No, okay. I mean, we don't. But yeah, we're, we're, we're going great. Yeah, we've been together tight. for about 
three years now. Yeah, uh, yeah things are going fantastic. She sounds uh, epic. She's awesome. She uh, has always been supportive, even when I was streaming to one person. You she was, was always you, you were know, streaming to one person for a little bit. Yeah, That's she a- would like mod the whole time. She'd <laughs> watch all my videos back, give me pointers. She's always been supportive. Of, what and, a legend! Uh, I'm very grateful. I she's, love that. she's awesome. She was moderating that one viewer. <laughs> I love that. She so was much. moderating these. Yeah, the nobody. It's funny though because I watched you go live the other day. Like I was so I was so excited. I was sitting there and I saw Spoon Kid went live. I'm like fuck yeah. And then I go to your chat. Literally the second you go live, I click on it. It's like 600 people. Well, no, 200 people. I was like oh fuck, never mind. I was gonna say hi, but <laughs> never mind. <laughs> damn yeah they file in pretty quick now dude that is that is so epic wait let me oh, and also you know what's making this whole interview process difficult is the fact that i typed out all the questions on a on a physical desktop computer and then the power went out so i don't even have the questions so like oh no i know i had to type it out on my phone quick so i got my questions here <laughs> okay no, it's all good I, I gotta ask you about your clothing line um do you do, do you like manufacture your own clothing um so things have been moving really fast with that actually yeah, but yeah. uh right now i work with a a company that does manufacturing but and, you, you don't um, use like a shipping. you don't use a clothing internet brand that like ships your shit for you you physically like liaise with the actual clothing company right yeah so okay. i you know it's not like teespring or something yeah that's uh, what i was thinking i have to work with them and we go through like samples and you Could, know yeah, because you got good shit. You got like embroidered shit, like really good quality stuff. I'm trying to, you know, take it to that level. And, you know, I recently just got a warehouse uh, because we we're starting to do a couple items ourselves. What? Uh, we have like a, a plush coming. Yeah? That you know, it's been in production for a while that, you know, we're going to ship and is it a monkey? deal with ourselves. It is. It's, oh, the, it's of the of the logo thing. I, I, saw it, I saw it in one of the things and then you're like, well, I'm not supposed to tell you guys about this yet. And it was like an Instagram yeah. put. I saw that monkey, bro. I want one. Okay, well, it's coming soon. Okay. I, um, I, I'm going to have to order I mean, like I'll the just, rest of the I can just send one out for you. Yeah. I do, I, let no, me, let me do like a review. A monkey review. Yeah, I'll send one. So you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, but yeah, you know, we got a warehouse. We're also like shooting photo now. Like good quality stuff. We're going to be doing some video. Um, just like more promo stuff for it to kind of turn it into more of a legit brand. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I basically like hired two of my friends that I've like two of my childhood friends to just like help design, shoot, just manage everything because it's you know been yeah uh, kind of difficult for me to do it myself. Well, that's actually unbelievable. The fact that you've gotten to that scale where you have to like hire help and get warehousing and like that that's kind of big, bro. That means your sales are huge. It's going well. Yeah, I mean, this is our best month yet, uh, but. You know, we'll see where things go. I'm just trying to put out quality stuff, and yeah, you know, people seem to like it. And and it, it's very strange because it's not like like you don't blast your logo, you don't like fucking make it like, you know, Edge Lord Rust content. It's just like a random fucking pie. And I was like, <laughs> I just I just don't understand you, dude. Your level of humor and like like your 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 promo material, and I just, I can't understand it. I think I'm too old. But, like, it fucking works. So people are, like, frothing at the mouth for the content. I mean, it's not exactly, like, intellectual stuff that you got to grasp here. It's just that I'm just trying to make something that makes people laugh and Dude, something goofy. It's, it's, it's so epic to watch. It's just, like, this this formula. Like, I can usually look at another Rust YouTube and just analyze them and be like, okay, that guy's a pvp That guy's the adventure guy. William's the, like, the, the relaxing solo. Like... I just, I just can't wrap my head around you. You just everything. It's so weird. <laughs> well, everything and nothing too. I mean, I kind of don't fit into a lot of the. Yeah, it's like it's suck, everything and nothing. It's, it's so strange because everyone's got a thing, and your thing is like question mark. Like I don't know. Is that I just am not good at the game. I, I was, like I was, I was watching. A, <laughs> I was watching a video with my meal earlier, and you were. It was a quite an old. Well, not quite an old video. It's like two months old, and you were on horseback with a crossbow. And you were just fucking, like, galloping towards it, past these dudes. And then you just randomly headshot, like, three guys in a very quick row. Like, PvP Damn. god stuff. You actually you actually said that's the best play. Uh, that's the best thing. It's not only happened in Rust, but in my whole life. 
And I was like, <laughs> oh, I think I remember you that. You know what code, I mean? That yeah. was, was a fucking crazy shot. That was a good shot. moment. Yeah, you, you, you just three. Sometimes I break one out. And then, like, you fully kitted head to toe in gear with guns, and then some dude with a fucking bone knife kills you. And I'm like, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you're <Right>. a god. <laughs> It's so yeah, I don't know how that works, man. I mean, I'm just like, I'll go from a ten to a one and in ten seconds, and and uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, I guess I'm, I'm not very sporadic. No, oh, dude, it, it, it actually makes for some really good content because you just don't know what you're gonna get. You know, every day it's just like it's a dice roll. You know, like are you gonna be, it does. you know, are you gonna be feeding pickles to Mr. Horse? Are you gonna? Is the wheel gonna take your life? Because uh, right. Spoon, you got some problems with the wheel, bro. I do have some problems with the wheel, I, and uh, that's quite bad. Yeah, gambling like, <laughs> is is an issue for me. Like literally, I was watching it the other day. You you were on the wheel. You were like seven k scrap up. I literally went to my kitchen to go grab a cigarette, come back, and you're you're broke. It's all gone. And you're, you're begging for scrap outside <laughs> bandit. I'm like, dude, how did it get that bad that quickly? <laughs> I have a real. Uh, you know, I'm very impulsive, and yeah, yeah. Uh, I I genuinely like have a problem with gambling and that's why i've like stayed away from all forms of gambling in my real life oh and god yo, you i don't even stay. do gambling sponsors because i'm like Good if any of my fans are like me they will lose it all yeah yeah so so no gambling in real life at all i mean i'm not even really old enough to but like oh, wait, even like skin gambling and stuff yeah wait you have to be 21 to gamble yeah where i live oh that's fucked uh, and 21 to drink yeah that's insane Yo, hi, that's that's cool. Okay, so Spoon Kid, we've, we've discussed quite a bunch. I've got to ask you, dude, what do you think the future of Spoon Kid's going to be? Like, where do you see yourself going? Call it your five-year plan, bro. Uh, homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Just just like um, in-game, dude. Like, one day you got a base, the next day you're homeless. <laughs> five years, I'm homeless. Right. Realistically, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know... Uh, you know, Spoon Kid 2 is doing really good. Really good. So I want to keep that going mm -hmm. as a Rust channel because, you know, obviously there's still something there. Yeah. Uh, and But, you know, uh, I'd say like a year ago, I kind of started realizing, like, I don't have the interest to both stream enough Rust for Spoon Kid 2, which, you know, it takes quite a bit because we upload so much. It does. As well as... Um, edit my own long form videos i don't have the time i'd have to spend like you know 50 hours a week just on rust content of course and that's so just too much yeah it's yeah and and you know to really upkeep the main channel and like see it through yeah i would want to be putting out like two videos a month but i can't do both unless you know while i'm managing all this other crap it's just i don't have time so yeah i mean you can only spread yourself um, so thin right exactly yeah. so you know recently i'm like all right spoon kid 2 is just going to turn into the rust channel okay uh, cause uh, i saw spoon kid 1 you were doing like the forest and like other types of shit there and you know yeah python and all that so we're slowly uh because we just put out a long video on spoon kid 2 that i normally would put on spoon kid 1 okay um it was like a two hour video and it actually did super well. So, oh, wow. Because I was a bit worried about the algorithm because we've only been uploading the same type of content, 20-minute yeah. videos. Uh, but I'm realizing that, you know, you sprinkle in long videos, it's not necessarily a bad thing. If anything, it'll just help. Yeah, it's more about uh, making sure that you do the upload rather than its duration. Because at the end of the day, if someone sees right. a spoon get upload and it's 40 minutes, they're probably going to start foaming at the mouth uh, rather than yeah. ignoring it because... I mean, your videos are, are quite, like, very, very entertaining to the point where, they, you know, they keep a view. I think your average view duration should be quite huge, I can imagine. Thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know what, what others, other people's are. Um, well, but usually I, it's like 50 to 60%. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I'm on, like, fucking 40%, so you are, you're still, still topping. Well, it ranges, you know, I mean... Yeah, of course. No, that's that's sick. Okay, so you obviously record a lot of Rust. You're basically always working. Um, take me through two separate days, okay? I want to I wanna hear what does Spoon Kid do from the time he wakes up on a day he records versus what Spoon Kid does on a day when he's not working at all. Like, how do your okay. days differ? All right. Uh, well, today, you know, this is a... Today I woke up about... Uh, 10 minutes before this interview. <laughs> uh, Late sleeper. Yeah, so, you know, about like 1.45. <sighs> uh, 
Are you uh, fucking kidding me? T- took a shit. And, uh, <laughs> you know, sat down and started running my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but let's okay. But on a normal day, uh, you know, wake up, try to cook something, cook some eggs or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, ideally, start up the stream before. You know, like 2 p.m., I guess. Yeah. And, uh, you know, recently I've been trying to do longer streams. How long do you stream uh, for? Because I, I, I usually watch some of your stream, but I, I just, I can't watch that much rust. I lose my fucking mind. No, I get it. Yeah. I, I don't blame you. And uh, the streams, honestly, are not as entertaining as the videos. Well, when so the videos are the highlight reel. It. Right. So, uh, it, it honestly ranges, like... Let's, um, I did a 24-hour stream a couple of weeks ago. Oh, my God. Kind of out of the blue. Yeah. Because I was just feeling it. That must have uh, been fucking and then sometimes It was terrible. <laughs> but it wasn't that bad. I had my, my friend blazed. Oh, it's Kind of someone I could talk. Because usually I stream solo, like 90% of the time. Mm. Uh, which I find creates better... If you I, I don't action. know. I feel like it... Yeah, like, I can interact with the viewers more. It mm. also helps me kind of, like, stay uh, focused for the video where I'm, like, kind of doing this casual narration thing. Yeah, and you have, uh, like, a, a set amount of goals. You know exactly what you want to do. There's no, like, right. you know, undecided. Should we go? Yeah, and I have, like, complete control. Mm. Yeah, I can just be, like... Because when I'm playing with people, I kind of have to go into their play style a little bit because nobody wants to play how i want to play i noticed that like, the other day with blueprints you were streaming with blueprint you weren't streaming uh blueprint was streaming and right. you don't talk as much you sort of just like follow the pack when you're with other dudes yeah i mean i'm kind of just like i don't know i just feel most comfortable because when i'm alone i get to just like do whatever like you know i'll be like all right i got a yoga pistol let's go to cargo yeah le- but normally people are like all right let's be smart let's go farm let's you know yeah yeah i noticed you'd have a bow and you'd be like okay i just did small oil with the fucking bow we should go to large oil rig and then after that without depoting i'm gonna go to cargo and then go right. chase down yeah. six rib boats filled with ak guys with my bow because i exactly I, 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 lose <laughs> it all. And some, of the, some of the things i watched i'm like why are you doing this you're gonna it, die it, you <laughs> know it it seems really stupid but i've kind of like i've thought about why <laughs> i and I, i've realized that it kind of creates this constant tension with the viewer it really does that you don't find when you're playing smart like if i'm playing off stream i'm not going to do any of that stuff yeah but it's like i'm constantly trying to do something to hold the viewer's attention so it's like all right we just finished this thing it's going to be boring for 10 minutes what if i just do another crazy thing you know yeah like having a full inventory on small and going off to oil with full inventory right it's 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 stupid but also it's like i gotta see what happens Th- that's know? exactly it when i watch your stuff i'm like okay now i want to see with a full inventory what are you gonna do now this is just dumb and then i watch and it's I was like, like a car crash you, you can't, know, look, you can't look away but you also can't look at it it's amazing oh my god okay and, and then on days when you're not not uh streaming spoon what, what do you do for fun what do you, you and focal get up to do you guys just like hang out do you go uh, do shit like what's your what's your typical fun day I mean, I got a lot of friends uh, okay. that live near me, you know, because I haven't moved or anything. Okay. Um, oh, so anything. are you are you living in the same state where you grew up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't moved at all. Or, you know, like, haven't moved out of the state at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, uh, you know, we'll go, like, I've been going to the gym a lot. That's, like, a, oh, wow. a thing I do now. Well, that's good. Uh, do that, like, pretty much every day that's impressive uh, you know i have like i usually like go with people i got a lot of friends who go too so yeah hunching over a computer screen for 12 hours a day isn't you know very very giga chat yeah not not the best for uh staying you know yeah in peak shape <laughs> so, no, that's been it's been nice to like kind of it keeps my head straight yeah um sometimes i try and go before a stream because it kind of gives me more energy and like yeah releases endorphins and know. shit like that gets you pumped i don't know all the science yeah but it definitely helps so i recommend to anyone especially if you're like a teenager yeah uh get it we build those habits because it's been great for me at least nice man i'm glad i'm glad uh, things are anyways, going so well yeah, things are going things are going <laughs> but 
you know, just like, uh, I don't even know what I do. I mean, I got a lot of friends where we just can just drive around for hours and just have fun. We don't even have to do anything. Basically Python, but, but without the cameras. Just do yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like doing the most random stuff, but I don't know. What are your favorite things to eat? Uh, are you like a junk food guy or <laughs> are you like a healthy food guy? I'm like more of, I guess, like a healthy food guy. Okay. Like, I don't know. I don't really like, uh, I don't really th- I try not to think about food. Like, I remember I, mean, I wanted to like get on like day, Soylent right? one time. I, I, do, <laughs> I do. Yeah, I'm like, I. I just wanted like streamlined food because it's just so annoying to me to have to deal with like time. I just feel like investing time into food is just such a f- annoyance, and like, I just want to be like sustained and not even think about it. Okay, so I want it to be like fuel. Okay, so if you could live in the future and just eat pills that are tasty and satisfying and filling and nutritious, you'd be yeah. You'd be okay. That's what I do. I just I, it just fucking annoys me when I'm like, all right, I want to stream. But now I gotta like I know I'm gonna be hungry in a few hours, so I gotta make a meal and make sure it's like keep me full and okay, yeah, so it's just you, the whole thing. So man. you and Forkel aren't like master chefs and you know cook handmade Italian food every night. Fork girl cooks. Oh yeah, she's, she's a great cook. Yeah, bro, you uh, you fucking so you got the jackpot with Forkel there, bro. <laughs> Supportive <laughs> moderator, you got you living in her apartment. She cooks for you. Good God, bro. She, uh, you know, she she. Makes pretty good food, but when she does cook, but for the most part, I kind of have to fend for myself. Well, yeah, of in course. terms of food, I just go uh, grab a spear and go outside and go get you some dinner. Right, I wish. <laughs> wish it was that easy. Imagine. <laughs> um, I don't have a good quest for food. I've got like a weird food thing. No, that's that's totally chill out. To tell you the truth, I do much of the same. I like life is just so busy that I I most of the time just order out because it's easier. Like. Just have some right. some Uber dude just bring me food so I can eat. I, I don't even think about like I don't even think I've used my stove in like three months. It's just like ugh. <laughs> exactly, so yeah. Fucking annoying, yeah, Uber right? Eats. I get it. That's been a problem for me too. Uh, it's expensive, but it's like just, also yeah. it's convenient, bro. Yeah. Oh god, that's insane. Um, okay, well, let me go through my questions quickly. Oh yes, I got to ask you, dude. Sorry, I'm going back to your channels again. Um, you also have your own podcast. I do. I love it. The, the Goomba podcast, eh? The Goomba Podcast, yep. And that is on Spoon Kid what number? Spoon Kid 4? Uh, Spoon Kid 5. 5. Spoon Kid 5. I actually listened to one earlier. Like, well, I was like skipping through it because I did need to do a little bit of Spoon Kid research. And they are mm. actually like insanely entertaining. Oh, thanks, man. That means a lot. Yeah, it's, it's not like very like revealing. It's just sort of like, like, you know, two bros chilling and like talking and having a good time. It's actually very fucking entertaining. Like, is that shit on Spotify as well? It is on Spotify as well, yep. Nice. Is there any, like, links or stuff that people have to, like, follow that are listening to this that don't know about it? Because I know that... Uh, I know your podcasts are doing a little bit weaker than your other stuff, so I don't know if everybody knows about it. Like, what's the... Yeah, we don't do a ton of promo for it, but, you know, if you guys want to check out uh, Spoon Kid 5 or the Goomba podcast on Spotify, you know... Here we go. It's pretty terrible. (laughs) It's it's not. It's actually not. Like, I, I... have been consuming lots. I've been trying to spread my my spectrum of con- like consuming content lately, and like mm. other than Rust creators, there's very little out there in terms of quality, dude. Like I don't want to like like blow up our own game, but like people don't put in much effort in other games. It's kind of exhausting. Like I yeah, I agree. There's definitely like a a standard in Rust. Oh which yeah. I don't think I even <laughs> really reach, but a lot of the YouTubers really put in a lot of time. Yeah, we were actually talking, me and Blue, um, on on that podcast about, like, the new up-and-comers, like, the Confusions and the Fancy Orbs. Like, I don't know if you watch any particular Rust content. Those creators. two are, are fantastic. Bro? Both of those dudes I really like. Dude, like, their, their level of editing and their, and their, create, like their creativity process, like, it kind of, like, dwarfs everything else. Like, all the older Rust creators. Like Yeah, they, no, they're, they're going to they're gonna be the biggest ones in the whole oh, scene. Oh, hands down, hands down. Like quality shit like i actually looked at confusion and that guy does like this next level editing and like i don't even it's know it's insane Bro, fuck. It, those cinematics i don't even know what the fuck he's doing i, I don't know and but i'm very good at it's cinematics like those thumbnails that people make yeah where they're like in blender but it's a video yeah it's like custom like custom animations that doesn't exist and he and he uses it in his videos and i'm like oh wow right 
Like, it's I, insane. I consider myself like a bit of a, a fucking cinematic king, and then I watch that guy, and then I just fucking, you know, close my computer and go cry in the fucking corner. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely, <laughs> when you watch videos like that, it's definitely like, man, I got to step it up. <laughs> so you got, you got, obviously, the Spoon Kid main, you've got, sorry, the Spoon Kid main is... Uh, now branching out to newer games you've got Spoon Kid 2 which is right. dedicated Rust Spoon Kid 3 is shorts Spoon Kid 3 is just like whenever I just like want to make something stupid okay. some small little like I don't even it doesn't really have yeah, it's, it's, a it's, concise there's no classification is there no it's just like whatever <laughs> what is Spoon Kid 4 Spoon Kid 4 is Spoon Kid 4 was originally just me branching out uh before I was putting other games on the main channel, and now it's kind of like gonna be uh, shorter, like less quality branching out that I don't think fits the main channel. Okay, Spoon Kid 5 is the Goomba podcast, and then Spoon Kid 6 is? Uh, those are just clips. <laughs> you know, you could like probably weed out like three or four channels, right? <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could. I have some theories about, you know. Like, I, it was, although it seems stupid, I, like, spent a lot of time thinking about how to do it, and I figured this would be the best for revenue and for the algorithm. Well, I mean, like, you've got six channels. Four of them are, are 100K channels already. I mean, two of them are 500K channels. Like, y are you going to have enough wall space for all your play buttons? Like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be uh, insane. I can't wait to see that. Uh, I kind of just kept them in my drawer for a while. Oh, yeah, like my play buttons, like, uh, it, I was so excited to get it, and then they sent it, I was like, oh, I don't need this shit, and I, like, tossed it in the yeah, corner. what am I going to, like, <laughs> hang it up and yeah. fucking suck my own dick every day? <laughs> I don't want to look at it. I know, dude, fuck, I can't stand, like, the the whole, like, it, it's so weird, because we get looked at as, like, like, uh, like, you know, YouTubers are quite popular uh, in terms of, like, jobs and things to do for the youngsters of 2022. And right. like, I don't know why, but it feels like all I want to do is not be a YouTuber, if that makes sense. Like, it's so fucking yeah. weird, bro. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a curse. Obviously, I'm very grateful yeah. for, you know, and uh, it's definitely been a blessing financially too. Like, you know, that that's a uh, uh, something that I wouldn't have been able to find in finance. elsewhere, I don't think. Yeah, <laughs> maybe in like 50 years, but yeah, yeah. So, it, 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 you know. it is kind of sick being like, you know, like as free as we are, you know, you, you, you choose what you want to do today. You don't have to like report for duty at 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. type of thing and you know, work this right. fucking mediocre ass job. But it is also like the fact that it, you know, doesn't stop when at 5 p.m. Like it's just always on my mind does get pretty stressful. Yeah, of course. Uh, do you do you often take vacations and shit or are you just not that type of person um uh, yeah yeah i take vacations pretty frequently like maybe once every two months i'll like go somewhere oh nice uh so yeah i definitely see the value in that when, and, when are you i'm lucky enough to be able to when are you coming to africa uh i've got a trip planned soon actually no i do not i got no uh well, if, 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 if you want to come, <laughs> I, I like, don't know yet, dude, but my country, like, don't go to my continent, go to my country, South Africa. Okay. But, like, don't go there without a person that you know, because you will get stabbed. Like, it's, okay. You know, well, that is a very uh, appealing pitch you got there. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you can come here, you can not get stabbed. Uh, you know what? Actually, my country is kind of fucking weird, right? It's like, I'm in Africa, but, like, we've, we've got no wild animals. We've got, like, first world city. You come here and it, it's like, los angeles except like with no electricity but like it's it's super okay. fancy and shit <laughs> it's super fancy and shit and like it, it just feels very american here mm. and it's I, I just don't understand why people want to come to this particular part of africa like if you want to go to africa you want to see wild animals you know you want to go to egypt you want to see fucking camels and shit uh here right. it's just it's basically los angeles um you know w with like people that stab you i guess <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, I've seen pictures. It looks like it would be a beautiful place to visit, but it, it's like a twenty-hour flight or whatever. Yeah, like, like, know. and and basically, like, we 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 are so like Western to the point where you'll come in. It'll it, there won't be things that'll excite you because everything that you have there is years. Like, there's no like right. you, you've got to go like deep into like the heart of Africa, but there it's like 
uh, militants and child slaves and sh- it's a it's a yeah, fuck I don't show. Know this if whole it's content. It. Nah, it's not. We could do another vlog out there. Yeah, f- that that'll be quite child late. slave vlog. <laughs> child <laughs> slave <be> gaming. Like- <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, I'll let you know if I'm coming down. That'll be sick. You, oh, I have to ask you, dude, and I've been wanting to know for the longest time your accent. It is it? Like, you've got like this, like I don't know how to describe it. But, like, I picture everybody in New York, Brooklyn, to sound exactly like you. Like, you know? Really? I don't know, man. I mean, people always uh, make comments about it, but I've, like, never... I've never in real life had someone make a comment about my voice, so it's always weird to me. Oh, so it's only, like, in-game okay. or, like, in your YouTube career where people notice that you sound like... Yeah, I guess. Like, I've never had people be like, you got a cool voice, you know? <laughs> So I don't know. I just I feel like I just sound like a normal dude. Because like the way your voice sounds mixed into like the whole Brenda persona, I, I like it just seems like a gold mine. Like like you, you, your community <laughs> loves Brenda more than they love you. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they do. Like I, I've seen people want Bren, Brenda porn and like it, it gets fucking oh, yeah. weird, bro. Like I, I noticed for a long time you had Brenda as like the anchor of your thumbnails and now you're starting to slightly evolve a little bit away from Brenda. Um, right. It, yeah, I mean, Brenda's essentially was, it still is oftentimes kind of like the reaction image trend. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> YouTubers put their face in the thumbnail. The, it's like, like Brenda can act as that. Yeah, too zoomed in, like really zoomed in. Too like Really zoomed yeah. in. Like not doing her any justice <laughs> with these zooms. Dude, um, I love it. Is Brenda your streamer mode name? Yes. Okay, so that was automatically assigned to you. That wasn't thought up or anything. Yeah, no, it just, you know, it was automatically, but Fuck. it just became a bit. And it still holds up today. That's insane. I've got to ask you, dude, um, are you happy with the current state of Rust? Uh, I imagine you are purely because of your play style. You're just so relaxed and shit. But this is going to be an anchor question for all my podcasts. And, and I, I ask because... You know, I'd like to hear from each individual creator what they think of Rust. Do they like it or do they want to change stuff? Yeah, I mean, I'm not like the best. uh, Like, I don't know, a lot of Rust YouTubers have like are very passionate about like what should change and what I don't really like know how games work all that well. Like, I don't really think I have the place to be like, yeah, this should this is how this game should go. But there's a few things that stand out like the gunplay that i think needs to change in what Um, way i i just think that the whole like being able to beam people with a hollow sight from eight thousand meters oh yeah yeah doesn't really make sense i think a lot of guns just don't get used as a result of that like as someone who likes the bolty a lot it's kind of a useless gun now because you can just use an ak at 200 meters exactly um so you know this definitely needs to be changes there which, I mean, apparently they're working on now, so we'll see. And, yeah. you know, a lot of the updates do feel a little, like, needless. Like, it's stuff that nobody's asking for, but mm. it's also like, you know, I get that they just want to expand and try new things. And, you know, I think as long as they don't mess things up, the game's going to stay pretty popular. It's actually, um, I'm glad that you said that, dude, because like everybody I've spoken to so far will say exactly the same thing. They've got a big problem with the gunplay. Um, they've got a big problem with the range. These like, I mean, the Tommies are literal beamers. Yeah. And they should be dropping off a lot quicker. They should be medium to short range fighting weapons, not not literally 200 plus meter weapons. And right, it just doesn't make sense. I was also watching one of your videos, and and you said you were you said that people were like always like basically like losing their minds over the L ninety six, which is pointless because the bolt is better. Um, I do understand what you were saying about the weapon vibe. Like the L ninety six needs to be a super long range weapon. The bolt needs to be a long range, but less long than the L ninety six, because you know obviously the L ninety six is like a military grade sniper rifle versus like this piece of shit sniper rifle and um, yeah no it definitely makes sense i just i just wish that the um, the, the classifications would be a little bit more clear so uh 556 five, would travel further in any gun regardless of which gun it's coming out of and nine millimeters should drop off very quickly um and do less damage because right. it's a tinier shell you know like it's it's just dumb it needs yeah, to be completely yeah, they, they really the pistol ammo weapons uh 
more so even than the rifle ammo guns like mp5 tommy i mean it's really the hollow sight that's fucking things up i actually didn't Just the fact that it you know reduces the the aim cone 70 mm-hmm. percent it just kind of doesn't even make sense i actually didn't even know that until blueprint told me i I didn't know the hollow did that i just thought the hollow helps you aim better i didn't know it actually physically makes the aim cone smaller right yeah no it completely changes the guns that's it's just so dumb it's it, why wouldn't attachment do that in real life right yeah it doesn't make any sense they're not like shy of adding random things like I, I do like the underground trains, but that's because I like to sort of, like, farm alone and quietly. But, like, I don't feel like uh, it's a lot of the stuff that they're adding is getting used much. Yeah, I agree. I mean, cars, for one. Oh, God. Are, like, Let's not go there. Just such a, so trash. I, I just didn't get why they would make those so difficult to deal with. And you got to get a fucking tier three workbench to put parts in it that actually make it move. Yeah. And it's then just, once you get it get moving, it. it barely fucking drives. Right, and it's like bouncy. Like you go over a pebble, it flips. Yeah, it's, I just I, I think they should make using that? they should make the control dynamics like the snowmobiles, sort of like on the horses, just like glide over the terrain, rather than right. you know sort of rock. I, I, it was so painful. I was watching one of your videos, and some guy sold you like this long ass disgusting car. You, oh, you, yeah. could, you could barely drive. Like you could you couldn't drive. Yeah, you couldn't see anything. <laughs> it's just like come on. It's just a nightmare. And you man. get shot in the head and then somebody steals your entire rig that just cost you like ten thousand scrap to make. <laughs> right. It's so dumb. It's unbelievable. Oh my god. And um I, I noticed that w- w- would you say that you enjoy like primitive play more or are you more of a gunplay person? Because I know you you're very Definitely. good at weapons. I mean, I feel like uh, in the past, Primitive was, like, much more, like, lasted a lot longer. Like, I remember when I first started playing, like, on Wipe Day, like, getting a gun was a lot more challenging. It was unheard of Uh, on Wipe Day. Right. And now it's, like, you know, an hour in, someone's got an AK. It's, like... Yeah. So I definitely prefer Primitive play. I think it's a lot more fun. I think it's... uh, There's a lot more, you know time involved like the gunfights mm. last a lot longer there's a lot more skill there yes of course uh instead of just you know with a gun especially if you got a hollow sight it's like if you see the person first you win you know what i mean yeah yeah and and another thing that really annoys me i love primitive right it's it's the best time in rust image everything feels so fresh and risky and fun um what annoys me is that you can shoot somebody in the head with a big large shaft of wood in the form of an arrow and they don't die like he should die and you should get his gun as a reward you know like it just i, I guess yeah i mean they, i think there should be a slight buff to a lot of the primitive stuff yeah i don't think like how it used to be where you could one shot a face mask with a crossbow i don't think that should be a thing yeah that i um, that i whole thing with a face mask was a big problem yeah right but but yeah no i do think there needs to be a bit more yeah but i mean if you've got like a burlap head wrap on or something like that um, right. You know, landing a, 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 a there shouldn't be any head protection for projectiles like that. If if that makes sense. Yeah, I agree. I gotta ask you, dude. The the funny hat bit that you do. What 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 is that about? Like, I just I don't understand it. Uh, <laughs> 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 Even if I understand. Is there no understanding, I mean, or what? What is the? <laughs> I mean, it's just a funny hat. <laughs> is is that just, it? You know, it's just it's just a it was just a funny looking hat. <laughs> That's, that's about it. <laughs> it's so weird. Like you're busy progressing through through the game, and then you just like stop, and you just want to start making people funny hats. And shit. Right. I just don't understand. Well, it's just uh, you know, it's a hat, and, <laughs> and it's, it's funny. It looks funny. <laughs> I love it, dude. I don't think you need much more than that. <laughs> it's just a funny fucking hat. I love that. Between that and the pickles and the fucking the frog, I don't even understand the frog gear that you're obsessed with, and you put the frog back in the water sometimes. And <laughs> sorry, the fish, the fish. Don't, oh, yeah, yeah the, the, f- the fish are rocking. <laughs> those are those are on the same wavelength as the funny hat. Okay, so it's funny items. It's just random funny items that you enjoy. Yeah, you know the the, the fish rock I like because it's like a little a little character, and you kind of like make him do stuff. Yeah, you yeah. talk to him. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it so much. Uh, Spoon, okay, I'm going to ask you something about personal Spoon Kid. Um, and I'll ask all the creators this in the podcast, so I, I hope you don't mind. Hey, go for it. Um, what is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you in your life? 
the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened that to me? you can think of because 90 percent of the time it ends up being something alcohol related and i just if you got something for me dude people love a good cringe oh man let me think mm. i should have prepared i can't even no dude take your time take your time i just mm. and, and it's funny though because usually when the podcast ends i get messages from creators and they're like oh my god dude no i just thought of something and this is the bigger right. so i mean if you if you want to take a moment you're more than welcome to let, let me think let me think what i got there was one instance uh, in uh this is pretty bad oh, god. but in in uh well, how old was I? Maybe like 15. Oh, yeah. Um, this was a, like a high school party. Okay. And I don't I don't know if this was planned, but there was like hundreds of people at this house. Okay. Like it was just a nightmare. And, um, you know, I don't I don't know where the where the alcohol was. I couldn't find it. Okay. But I was already drunk right okay. so my decision making was already uh not the best <laughs> so i was like all right i need to find more so i like <laughs> i went i went to this i don't even know whose party this was i don't know whose house this was uh but i like stuck around and like went into their uh their pantry and like found some beers right oh yeah I was not supposed to be in there. I mean, it was fucked up. Yeah, like, yeah. this person opened their house. And I fucking... <laughs> I don't even know who it is. I'm going and I steal a beer, right? Yeah. I was like, okay, whatever. But it's a glass one. It's not a... It, you know, you have to have a bottle opener. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't know where to find that in this person's house. It's not my house. Okay. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I got to get this thing open. But I was already, you know... Uh, didn't have the best motor skills <laughs> at, in my current state. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I'm just going to... I was in the backyard. I was like, okay, if I just like smash the top of it against this wall, it'll open, right? I know where so this I'm is going. So I just like, right, <laughs> let me just go for it. Yeah. Just full, full strength, smash it in. Glass shatters, cuts my hand oh, open no. completely. The beard was lost uh my hand is like covered in blood oh, and God. then this dude comes out and I, I don't i still don't know if this is the dude's house or if this was like his crony or like well i don't know who this guy was oh, but yeah? he was like hey man what are you what are you doing it's like nothing <laughs> like, did you take a beer and I'm like, no covered in blood it's like <laughs> My head is covered in blood. There's a broken beer bottle on the floor. And this dude just goes in. He's so mad at me. He's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? You need to get out of here. Oh it's like, dude, I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. Oh, God. I, I don't know why. But for whatever reason, I didn't put two and two together that my hand is bleeding out. Like, obviously, this dude knows. Oh, he probably saw me do it. Yeah, yeah. And I just remember, like, I saw that kid at school, like, the following <laughs> day and i just whenever i saw this dude i just could not yeah, look him in the eye <laughs> <laughs> i was like dude oh, that's the i do not want and it was never brought up again but it was like so it stuck with me dude that's the best thing about like embarrassing stories is that the person that it involves like you can never make right. eye contact ever again it's just like yeah this, i could never this unspoken bond i actually have quite a similar story um i was at a at a high school party once as well we went to some random i guess similar to your situation some random person's house we didn't know whose house it was and like everyone was drinking and back then i still used to drink liquor hmm. and we were also like fucking scratching through their their cupboards hoping for like to find <laughs> alcohol and then we found this bottle of champagne we're like fuck yeah you know rebels oh, no. we open no we opened it up no no broken glass no fucking lacerated hands but we drank this bottle of champagne and then the the, the girl whose house it was it wasn't the, the mom it was the the daughter and she came in there and she lost mm. her absolute fucking mind. Turns out we opened the bottle of champagne that the mom was given on her wedding day. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, we just popped dude. that shit open and it was like a custom like wine bottle with like the initials like engraved on it and like Oh no. The sealed wine bottle <laughs> sim like symbolizes our love. It can never be opened or broken. Oh my god. And we like fucking spraying it in the kitchen like shot. Mr. Flag drank it all. <laughs> oh my god, she was pissed and um, That's hilarious. Yeah, and, like her mom phoned my mom and That's really funny. It was kinda of funny. It was good times though. Good times. Um Spoon, I gotta ask you, brother, what do you drive? 
Um, I drove a Forerunner. Toyota Forerunner. Oh, sick, sick. Those are nice. Those are big. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice car. Um, I saw. I think I, I heard you in Blue once talking about Tesla. Did you want a Tesla, or is that not like something that? Yeah, you Yeah, I mean, kind of like, you know, it, it's kind of hard, like. Uh, holding back any sort of impulse purchase ever you know yeah i yeah. haven't really bought anything with youtube money mm. well you uh, save like 96%. i mean i bought a right i bought a computer but i mean obviously that's like part of the business yeah uh i haven't really bought anything so it's like sometimes i'm like man i want to just ball out mm. buy a nice new car but also it's like i don't know if i really need it that being said a tesla would be nice to uh because I do spend a lot of money on gas with my current yeah, car. Yeah, Jesus, I think it's a huge thing. But also, if I'm being real with myself, am I buying this thing to save money? Not really. I just kind of want a new car. Yeah. So, but, I mean, look, I, uh, it's, I, I get it, though. You, you know, make, making money hand over fist, buying some nice shit sometimes is cool. You know what I mean? True. It's sort of like yeah, just rewarding yourself. I just yourself. feel like the way I look at it is like, all right, I spent 50 grand on a car now. It's not really 50 grand, because if I put that away, invest it, right, in 20 years, that'll be like, you know, 200 grand or whatever. Yeah, like a sizable so it's amount. like, I don't know, it would be cool to have like a, because I do like those cars, I've driven them before, uh, but it's just, I don't need it, so probably not going to get one anytime soon. Sick, sick. Dude, it's been epic having you. i got to ask you one more thing. Um, can I possibly get you to, can I teach you some of my language? Uh, for sure. Just, what do you got? I, I got a, I got kind of like a curse word because I, I kind of want to make a compilation of um, of Rust YouTubers saying like a whole bunch of African curse words. I just think it'll be, okay. it'll be so fucking hilarious. Okay, so... It, yeah, lay it on me. So the Afrikaans language that I'm about to tell you is like basically like a watered down fucking gutter Dutch. Um, it's one of the languages uh, we have. We, we've got 14 languages in our country, by the way. It's, damn. Yeah, it's fucked, dude. But the, the language that, that I'm teaching you today is Afrikaans. And <laughs> this, this is, I'm, I'm going to teach you the line now. Okay, this is how it goes. It goes, foot sack. <laughs> like, like, like foot and then sack. Uh, that's one word. Okay. And then he, it's a like great word. Yeah. And then yo nai. Okay. So it goes, foot sack yo nai. All right, what does that mean? Uh, it means like, Basically, I guess like fuck off, you bastard. If I had to directly okay, translate, let me try it out. Yeah, if you want. Foot sack, you know. Oh, one, one more time, I, I spoke. Uh, all right. Oh. <clears throat> Foot sack, you know. <laughs> you sounded. But like, I feel like my inflection sounds a little like monotone. You, like, yeah, you, like how? Like how would someone say it if they were angry? Oh, uh, that would be like foot sack, you know, and like Rrr, sort of like angry okay i don't think it's a nice right, one yeah. <laughs> give that one more yeah. foot sack you know hey there we go <laughs> there we go oh my god that's gonna make it dude i've i've now made sir winter say ugly things blueprint say ugly things now spoon kids say ugly things this is amazing it's gonna be like the best thing ever uh, so what if you're just getting us to say like different slurs in your language we don't know well basically you get us all canceled yeah you just you guys are insulting black african people right now so <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking no dude, it's over dude <laughs> no honestly it's just it's futsak is basically like the the go away uh word that we uh, use you know futsak uh, go away humba uh, it's, i don't know I've, i know so many fucking languages it's disgusting that's dope though dude spoon kid has been keep that in the mo in the head yeah oh yo you got to keep it in the, in, the, in you got to use it in a stream dude foot sack that's like for sure go away foot sack uh, is there anything that your viewers don't know about you that you would like them to know about you that they've never known about you if that makes sense um uh, just you know, uh, one tiny you little. Get any pointers here? You know, something that you enjoy. Are you a secret pottery fan? You know, do you do you love poetry? Are you an avid reader of Terry Pratchett novels? I don't, I don't fucking know, bro. Like, is, it, is, <laughs> is there anything that you do that people are like, holy fuck, Spoon Kid does? You know, that thing. Uh. uh uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm putting know, you on the spot, bro. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Nothing comes to mind. I mean, I uh, I skateboard. You skateboard? I, I I feel like some people know that. I don't. I didn't fucking know that. 
you know, I'm not very good at it, but I do it. No, oh, that's sick. That's sick. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I guess I'm not a spooner like the rest of your spooners, but like, I didn't know that. Well, may, may I have probably mentioned it that much, but you know, do that. I play the piano. Are you fucking kidding uh, me? You, you know, you play the piano and you skateboard. Yeah, those are like two two little hobbies I got. That is very cool. Are you are you good at it? The piano, I'm pretty good at. Like actually, like play songs type of good. Yeah, I mean, I used to like uh, perform. Like I used to be like a classical. When I was younger, I'd like do performances and stuff. You were a classical pianist. A classical pianist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. My mind always goes back to being 12. I'm so sorry. Hey, I get it, dude. It's been uh, honestly the best yeah, thing ever to speak to you. I, I'm, I'm. This was delightful. Um, hey, same here, man. It was a pleasure. I know. I just. I, I hope that like this can like find out new things about their creators and it's just so exciting reading the comments and having people go like oh my god i didn't know this or i didn't know that or you no, know. You're, you're killing it man. I, I think uh, the structure is really concise you have the chapters like it's very uh engaging content i watched like the whole first episode and was like this oh was, wow you know, and that was like an hour long like very That's yeah, it was nuts. an easy listen and you know with with the podcast thing that you're doing uh i think like what a lot of people don't realize is like on paper you're like okay we're just making an hour of just talking it's not necessarily going to be as engaging as a video but you got to remember people are listening to stuff while they're doing other stuff oh yeah like, yeah that so it's like the perfect you know filler the perfect medium especially because everyone's playing rust i guarantee like most people are probably throwing your podcast while they're farming or whatever mm, or while they're smelting or like crafting gunpowder and shit like that yeah, it's the perfect engaging content that doesn't require you to actually watch. So. And and that's actually the only reason why I decided to not do face cam. Essentially, they're going to be there for the voice. So if you want to just minimize and listen, it'll be perfect. So, that's do you put these on Spotify? I'm going to be not yet though. I, I just I want okay. I want you to get a couple of episodes like constructed first. You know, just just ha Definitely. have a bit of a backlog before I start doing it because there's, there's nothing worse than when people like launch a channel and then. Um, there's not enough content to enjoy so they make one or two episodes of greatness people watch it right and then you know once they're done there's like there's no more so then they don't there is something that's nice about spotify as someone who made a podcast recently that i didn't realize oh yeah uh, that might be helpful is for one the audience on spotify is actually like at least in my case like equal like there's way more people that i than i initially expected really and also every time you post a new episode on spotify yeah which you know isn't necessarily the case with youtube because you know the algorithm oh, recommendations God, yeah. aren't a are odd on spotify if they watch your last episode it'll pop up right on their home page oh, new episode okay so, so it's actual consistent like you know reminders right. to the to the listeners and it, it there's a lot more like returning viewers because it kind of promotes it better so it's definitely worth looking into well if you guys are listening to this on spotify you can thank spoon kid for that <laughs> there you go spoon it's been an absolute pleasure you are like one of my top call it three youtubers in the world i am quite starstruck and honored to have you on the show and i thank you so much for your time dude hello are you there <laughs> that's a bad time for it to cut did out it, did it do the thing again oh my god <laughs> it did it did the uh, thing okay I'm gonna, I, heard, I heard most of it okay i heard most of yeah, it yeah it was basically it was basically like just thanking you for for your time and and being honored for your presence and shit like that it's been it's been an absolute pleasure uh, well hey don't uh I, I appreciate you having me on and uh i really enjoyed the the whole thing and, so, and th so thank you for the kind words and thank you to the spooners for listening oh wait oh can, can i yes can i do your intro let go for it you gotta you gotta rate me out of 10 okay all right okay what's up spooners did i, did I do it uh, it's, uh, it's like a seven a seven i mean it's not you need a little more like uh rasp in there like you, you gotta sound like you're like constipated like what's up spooners Ooh, okay yeah. what's up spooners there you go okay. there you go that's a nine nine at least well i mean you can't get that 10. might even be a 10 i don't know dude only, only you can get a 10 you are the spoon kid